You are Joseph, but you have been serving Pharaoh. You have been serving the wine presser. You have been serving the baker. It's time for Pharaoh to hear about you. It's time for Pharaoh to know that you can interpret dreams and you can bring economic solutions. Again, I pray for someone who came for Koinonia for a miracle service. The Pharaoh that has been assigned to identify your value. May they hear about you from tonight. May they hear about you from tonight. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is it life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. It was God's servant, Bishop Oedebo, who said God gave him as a formula. He said, feed the people, let the sheep come and find green pasture. Let it be ever fresh. And they come and they lie down in green pasture. There's one thing I know about humans. Nobody leaves what works. Nobody leaves what works. You left iPhone, lower version, because a higher version came. For as long as that lower version was there, you held on to it. Your first phone was a 3310. You didn't throw it, but you don't know where it is now. Because other versions came. And so if as an individual you remain a 3310... You will be in a world that does not need you. You go to the West. There used to be this play that children play. They say, I pass here. No way. I pass here. No way. I pass here. There are many of you. This is how life has been. You come with arrogance. I pass here. They say, as what? What are you contributing? No way. Till now, you've been hearing no way. May it change this night. I say to you, may it change this night. That God will place grace upon your life. That in one week, you will solve the problem of kings. They will say you are the one we've been looking for. Now, listen. Under this category, there are two sets of people. And I want you to listen. Number one, there are those who are honestly valuable. Your value is such that kings need you. But by demonic manipulation, or just by happenstance, those who need what you carry have not yet found you. This is the power of prophecy to connect you to the audience that desperately needs what you carry. Who is hearing this tonight? Do you know, I have met people in my life and upon meeting them, I was almost saying, where have you been? Because I've been looking for you. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are looking for is also looking for you. The assignment of demonic spirits is to keep that separation as wide as possible. There are some of you right now, there are CEOs praying for you. Your qualification is what they are looking for. Your character is what they are looking for. Your intelligence is what they are looking for. You will even define your own salary by yourself. But if you find them and you can spend the rest of your life and not find them, I'm telling you, the rest of your life, Hallelujah. I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart. Whoever needs you and has been praying about you and doesn't know it is you he is praying for. As you have come here tonight by the spirit of prophecy, I declare a supernatural connection. <laughs> Hallelujah. True story. A man that I know, very great man, highly intelligent for some reason, that man seemed to be, by some sentiments, the man was thrown out of his organization. I know him because I prayed for him. And something happened recently. He prayed this prayer, you see. And an international organization somewhere, I think they were looking for someone to direct a, an institution. And do you know, they just, one thing led to the other, one discussion led to the other. They made calls to the high and mighty in Nigeria and just to know that this man's qualification was what they were desperately looking for. Exactly what they were looking for. In one moment, they called him, what do you need? Is it a house? Is it a vehicle? Forget about whatever. And they, this man suddenly became a king overnight. If you don't find those who need you, you will be despised. Even if you are valuable. It is a terrible thing to be in the presence of people who do not have an appreciation for the investment of God on your life. They will despise you. I've shared with you here how a woman who has PhD 
was, you know, opening and closing gates in an oil and gas company. PhD. Now, I'm not insulting that work. You get what I'm saying? But I'm saying for that level of investment, you have to make do with anything that is available. Again, I pray for you, Koinonia, from the depth of my heart, whether it's a ministerial grace you carry, whether it's a business grace you carry, whether it's years of intellectual sacrifice, everybody who needs you and can reward you as touching what you carry, this week, in the name of Jesus, may they find you. May they find you. May they find you. May they find you. In Abuja, may they find you. In Lagos, may they find you. In Nigeria, may they find you. Across Africa, may they find you. Hallelujah. One of my precious ladies, she just departed, I think it was yesterday, out of this nation, I met with her sometime in Lagos. She used to be, you know, a worker here. And she met me, very lovely, brilliant lady. And she said, so, 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 company abroad. I mean, a very big company had called her to come and work. And they put everything in place. And I looked at her and smiled and said, you said this thing. I said, absolutely. The day those who you are sent to find you, that is the day you become a king in experience. There are many abarakatos kiatabada. I tell you, I sense a strong anointing as I'm saying this because many of you, it's not that your family is that weak. It's not that there's no good thing that can come from your family. But by demonic orchestrations, you are gifted people, beautiful ladies, intellectual people, but there is a covering cast on that family. Nobody is able to rise. And even where you are gifted, the devil will close the eyes of anybody who can bless you. I pray for you again. May you find those helpers of destiny. I know very great men of God who love God. Character, integrity. But they have not found people who have placed honor on their grace. I know many women, captains of industry. If you sit down and talk with them for 10 minutes, you will be saying, why has Nigeria not identified this person? Why has the United Nations, AU, why have they not identified this? You, you have no idea how many people are looking for you. How many people are praying for you. But this is what demons do. Paul said, I desire to come to you. Even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. I pray for you. Any hindrance that is stopping your visibility. That those who have what it takes to reward you. In the name of Jesus. I declare that hindrance is scattered now. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Hallelujah. True story. I know a very wealthy family who were trusting God for someone to take care of, I think their grandmother or so. And then one thing led to the other. They found this supposed young lady from the village and they brought the lady to stay with them, not knowing that prophecy had come that God will raise a helper to that family. That's how that girl came into that family. And because of the kindness of the family, they took the lady as their own. They began to help this lady from secondary school to university, took them as their physical daughter. The lady started bearing the son name of the man. This is how God changed their life. Do you think that lady will marry a foolish man under that watch? No. There are certain miseries in the life of people. It's not a capacity issue. It's that those who carry, those who need and can reward what you carry. I tell you sincerely, even as a man of God today, to God be the glory. The blessing of God upon my life in ministry is that he has taken my voice to those who need what he has placed upon my life. That is a secret to honor. I know many business people who, there are people who have invested their their, their, their minds to get knowledge but the organizations and the institutions that can reward them they are not even in this country but the devil will make it look that they, they will never see them there will be testimonies from this miracle service some of you whilst you are sitting by the spirit of grace someone will talk to somebody about you 
someone will talk to someone about your daughter, about your son, about your husband, about your wife. I prophesy it upon you in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. There was a man in the Bible who had capacity to reorder the administrative system of Egypt. But that man was in a prison. He was interpreting dreams, but he was in a prison. And the only reason why he was in the prison was because the king had not heard about him. And the man he now pleaded with, he said, go and tell the king, I have this ability, I'm innocent. I don't even want greatness, I just want freedom. I was accused wrongly, and I'm here. The Bible says, when God wanted to help that man called Joseph, the king slept and had a dream that no one else could interpret. I'm saying this as a prophecy for someone. There's and there's something God has placed on your head that none of your siblings carry. Makapara to kapara. There are many people in your organization, but there are things only you can do. I'm praying for you. What makes you unique? May God make men see it. What makes you outstanding? May God make men see it. What makes you exceptional? May God make men of capacity see it. Hear me. Related to value, let me remind you, it matters who sees you. When mean people see you, not an insult, they cannot reward you. When God wants to fast track a man's growth, hear me, especially economically, God brings people of capacity to see you because only kings can give you a king's reward. The wine presser cannot bring you out of prison. The baker cannot bring you out of prison. Only Pharaoh can bring you out of prison. Are we together now? You are Joseph, but you have been serving Pharaoh. You have been serving the wine presser. You have been serving the baker. It's time for Pharaoh to hear about you. It's time for Pharaoh to know that you can interpret dreams and you can bring economic solutions. Again, I pray for someone who came for Koinonia for a miracle service. The Pharaoh that has been assigned to identify your value, may they hear about you from tonight. May they hear about you from tonight. Hallelujah. I remember, I may not mention names, but the first ministry many years ago that heard about me and what God was doing in my life. Until then, there were ministries here and there within our local environment. And of course, everybody was rewarding based on their perception. This young man that God is using now. But I remember a ministry somewhere in the south, south. Far south, south. It was through the pastor's son, I think, and then it got to the wife. And when the wife listened to my audios, it, I mean the impartation and the encounter. That woman's life changed. The husband had to say, we have to look for this man. Where is he? They said, Zaria. Say, Zaria? What sort of, what is this man doing in Zaria? I remember when they were preparing to bring me. It was the first time in my life as a man of God that I was receiving any kind of commendable honor on account of what I carried. Even me, I was surprised from that meeting what I carried. Right from the airport, they were waiting for me. As against you standing and waiting and say, I'm here, oh. You said I will preach. They said, no, it's not today. Go back, maybe come back tomorrow. It's a terrible thing to be gifted. And yet you are in the presence of those who have no recognition. Again, don't be tired of receiving this. May God change your audience. Change your audience. Change your audience. Until you are in the presence of those who can reward you. Koinonia, may God change your audience, change your audience, change your audience in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are furniture people today who should be making chairs for palaces, but they are there, there are tailors today. Who with the kind of value they carry, I'm telling you sincerely, they should not be begging for bread. But a wrong audience, a wrong audience. 
there are men and women of God today with grace. You don't do ministry for money. However, you can be rewarded as you serve God. Are we together? There are enough people who love you to reward you out of poverty. There are enough people who love you to reward you out of mediocrity. The assignment of the spirit of grace is to gather them like a magnet and bring them within your space. Until they come within your vicinity, even Jesus, although he was the savior of the world, nobody followed him till a voice said, Hear ye him as the savior with capacity to save the world. Only God knows how many great men have been despised because you were surrounded in the company of mediocres who have no respect for your sacrifice. How many of you know that once upon a time, a little village girl called Hadassah, that lady had within her destiny to be the queen. I can imagine Esther in the village just saying, but God, these dreams you are showing me that one day I will be queen. She would not even tell anybody around. They would say, you, a village girl, you think the king is that stupid? Ah, but when the time came, after he drove Vashti, he said, gather to me the virgins. And one by one, from the back, by the spirit of grace, God kept bringing her forward. The Bible says, when she, the king saw her, Esther chapter 2 and verse 17, when the king saw her, the Bible says she found favor. The king loved Esther. There are many people who have been managing mediocres because they don't know you are there. The day you show up, they will reorder the administration of that company until you find a place. I hope you believe what you are hearing. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. Ah. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. But thou. of a life of shame. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Before I continue, wherever you are, just take one minute to pray. It's time for my value to find visibility. It's time for what I carry to be seen and heard. Come on now. Someone pray. Man of God, I like you to pray. It's time for the investment of the Spirit upon your life to be seen. It's time for your gifting to be seen. It's time for your sacrifice to be seen. Go ahead and pray. Outside, pray. Zaria, pray. Canada, pray. U.S., pray. U.K., pray. Eleke perekete parantos koto perekete. Eparantos koto prente ke perekete para. 
Santos. Things are shifting in the spirit, shifting in the spirit, shifting in the spirit. I sense in my heart that for many people, this is one of the reasons why you came tonight. Your issue is not laziness, your issue is not lack of value, your issue is not lack of resourcefulness. In all honesty, you are not lazy. You have taken the time to invest spiritually, intellectually. Oh, someone is about to be seen. Someone is about to be seen. Someone is about to be seen. I speak to you by the voice of prophecy. Someone is about to be noticed. Someone is about to be seen. A man of God is about to be handpicked and honored globally. Honored globally. Honored globally, a woman, a businesswoman is about to be seen. Your products like wildfire going across the globe. Please be seated. Why do people remain stunted in life and destiny? They lack vision. They lack plans, goals, and defined expectations. They have wrong limiting belief systems. They lack value and resourcefulness. Number four, they lack wisdom. I like you to be very sensitive. I tell you, fire is falling in this place. Falling in this place. Falling in this place. You have been praying this for a long time. God, locate me. Help me. There, there is a helper who needs me. Where are they? I don't have the power to find them. Based on my background, I don't have the power to have a secretary. I don't have the power to find them. I'm prophesying to you. You may not have the power to find them, but in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I come in the spirit of Samuel, that missing donkey that is causing you restlessness. May it get back home. 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 In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. Number four, lack of wisdom. Lack of wisdom. And hear me. When it has to do with destiny actualization, now wisdom is fivefold in its operation. There are five dimensions of wisdom according to the book of Proverbs. And all of these dimensions of wisdom have mighty works that they command. There are two of these dimensions that are important for destiny actualization. They are all departments, subsets of wisdom. Number one is called divine direction. Number two is called divine strategies. These are expressions of wisdom as far as destiny actualization is concerned. Isaiah 30 and verse 21. Let's hurry up. Lack of wisdom. Many remain stunted in life because their ears have not heard a word behind them saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it when you turn to the right and to the left. If you lack divine direction, you are as limited 
as the direction that comes to your life or otherwise. Psalm 32 and verse 8. I want us to shout this scripture. Are you ready? One, two, go. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide you. Do you know what that means? I will guide you with revelation. I will use revelation to guide you into seasons. I will instruct you. I will teach you the way that you should go. God, should I pursue or should I overtake? This is one of the blessings of prayer. You see, one of the ways that we access wisdom, you have been taught here, is through meditation. Meditation on scripture and then quiet contemplation. The psalmist will usually say, Sila, pause and think. Wisdom is mindset activated. You need to use your mind. Wisdom is a function of deep contemplation. Hallelujah. Most people do not think. They waste the investment of wisdom in their lives. But hear me, ladies and gentlemen, to the degree to which you access divine direction and the degree to which you access divine strategies, that is the degree to which you make advancement. Psalm 104, verse 24. We have to hurry up. Psalm 104, verse 24. The Lord orchestrated this solemn assembly tonight to change someone's life. It says, O oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. Then it says, In wisdom thou hast made them all. In wisdom, in wisdom. Everywhere you see mighty works. In ministry, in an organization, wisdom is behind it. Wisdom is, is responsible for building anything noble. Anything that has durability has wisdom as its foundation. Anything that has durability, sustainability, spiritually, intellectually, organizationally, when you see longevity, ever increasing consistency, it was built on wisdom. Hallelujah. Finances that was built on wisdom will not go up and down. It goes up and stays up. A family built on wisdom will not go up and down. Doesn't mean there will not be challenges, but it will stay up. A ministry that is built on wisdom will stay up. A spiritual life built on wisdom will stay up. You need to cry for the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. Now listen, I said this under point four, that visions and goals are at the mercy of the strategies that power them. Visions and goals are at the mercy of the strategies that power them. Visions and goals are at the mercy of the strategy that power them. It is important to have visions. It is important to have goals. But they are as potent as the strategies that power them. Many of us have great visions and great goals that we have penned down. We've written them for years. They have refused to come to life. Because there was no strategy. If you want to bring down Jericho, that is a goal. But what is the strategy? If you want to walk upon water or move to the other side, that is a goal. What is the strategy? If you want to feed 5,000 people, that is vision. But what is the strategy? Because you only have five loaves and two fish. Many of us lack divine strategy. The truth is you know what to do. But you do not know how to do it to prosper. Apostle, I have this desire to float a restaurant. Great vision. There are enough people who are hungry to prosper you. But if you fail, it is a strategy. Are we together? Yeah. What is the difference between an industrial mechanized farmer farming acres of land with predictable results and someone in the village? Strategy. They all have vision to farm. It is on the same land. And one person is laboring endlessly with wounds over himself, his wife and the children. Spending a whole day and they cannot even plow an acre of land. But someone else with predefined technology and all kinds of technologies. In 21 days they can grow vegetables. 21 days. They can literally, with, with God-like prophetic precision, they can tell you how many tons of corn 
or rice they can get from this acre of land. The difference is strategy, not vision. Many of us need wisdom. We need divine strategy. God has told you what to do. Don't run till he tells you how you will do it. Did you hear what I said? If the only thing you receive is vision or prophecy, you are still in trouble. You will fail like it's not God that told you. God told you to go and marry. Wonderful. Ask him, how will I have a hitch-free marry with joy? Don't just run and then crash land and be saying this thing self. Mm -mm. Strategy. God told you to go and do business. Don't just get up and run. People have failed woefully. Lord, what is the strategy? Moses went back to God and said, Lord, what do I do now? He said, you have a rod in your hand. Remember, I trained you with that rod. Tell the people that they go forward, then stretch forth your rod and part the sea. And yet the Bible tells us in the book of Psalms that it was by the breath of his nostril. That means he was there backing the strategy. For someone you came for koinonia tonight, the truth is that what is wrong with you is not confusion. By the message of God, you already have direction. What you need is strategy. God has told you it's time for your company to go all over Nigeria. But how do you do it? How do you circumvent the sentiments and all the prejudices that come? Territorial biases. Strategy. What makes any ministry, any business global? It's not just the anointing. It's not just the mandate. The strategy. If you do not have the strategy, you will remain small. Because you can have 5,000 people aside women and children. And yet, what God will give you is five loaves and two fish. And while you are there angry saying, God, are you blind? There was something you were supposed to do with the five loaves and two fish. And it will feed everyone. God's servant, Bishop Oedeko, will say, what you have is enough if you know what to do with it. What you have is enough if you know what to do with it. There are people who use two million naira and started building. And because of strategy, they built in such a way that after they finished, if they told you that house was 80 million naira, you will believe. It was about strategy. Sometimes it's not always about more resources. It's about strategy. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen, when you truly access wisdom and one other two com twin component called favor, I'll talk about that shortly. But if you access wisdom, there will be no need to go through the burden of living a fake life. Let me tell you this, and I say this with every sense of honor. One of the things that I learned as I moved into this city, I was surprised at how people inconvenience themselves to live a fake life. I couldn't believe it. I mean, the burden of living a fake life is like slavery. You've heard me, why fake what can be real? Are we together? There are many people whose trouble today is not demonic. It's an ego problem. You know, ego is an industry. People have built businesses around ego. A fake life. It is totally unnecessary. If you eat tomorrow's bread today, you will be hungry tomorrow. I guarantee you. If you wear tomorrow's cloth today, you will be naked tomorrow. And it's better to be naked today and then be clothed tomorrow than to now have clothes today. Many of us, our problem, even the attacks that came on our life is because we sold a fake life and someone begged you because of their perception that you were a millionaire. And because you refused to give, not because you were greedy, you didn't have it. The person said, you will see. And you see, you are seeing now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Run away, honestly speaking, from the pressure of living a fake life. Access wisdom. The house you are not prepared for, leave it alone. Go and start small. 
the car you are not prepared for, leave it alone and start small. Hello? The restaurant you are not prepared for, leave it alone and start small. It's nobody's business that you are growing with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Are we together now? Don't ever be ashamed of integrity. Oh, someone says we have one, um, one gathering and everybody's bringing one, one million. Oh, I appreciate you. What a great gathering. But um, as it is right now, based on my plan, I don't think it's, it's a wise thing um, to put that. I've been listening to Joshua Selman and, and part of what you... Blame it on me so that you can rest. Because if you tell them no, you'll be in trouble. So blame it on me. Are we together? Don't carry one million, whereas what you have in your account is five million. And then you carry one million. You will not know his waste. The prodigal son never knew how bad things were depleting. When he got to half his worth, he didn't know until everything dried up and then he was feeding with the pigs. Access wisdom. Wisdom will tell you, leave many layers lower than your true worth until you grow. That anything you cannot do twice or three times, you are not yet there. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Don't buy an SUV and then you'll be using black market to put the foil there. You are not there. I'm not insulting you. Please, don't feel bad. You are not there, my brother. Are we together? Very foolish things believers do and put themselves in trouble. No. Must you hold the meeting in your house? Oh, Apostle, we have Bible study in various houses. If your house does not have the capacity, just tell them, please, I'm not, I'm not, the way with that at this point, I may not be able to host all of us. I hope you are not offended. Let's move to the house of the next person. The day you move honorably to a house with a good parlor, you can invite them. You borrow a house, you borrow everything, borrow whatever, and then let me charge you. Uh, this social media deception, let me say it again. There are healthy aspects to social media, but many people's trouble started the day they bought a good phone. Because they went on social media and saw people selling lies, selling falsehood. Did you hear what I'm saying? Selling lies and falsehood. And then the person just puts to God be the glory. And then you get intimidated. This person who used to be my classmate in primary school, he's now doing this. He's flying a private jet. He's driving a Mercedes Benz. No, I give myself one month. That's how people get into armed robbery. To move honorably or to end up in prison, which one is better? I leave it to you. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Spirit of wisdom, rest on me. Don't organize anything beyond your capacity. If God gives you an instruction bigger than you before you execute it, seek help from veterans so that they help you interpret what he has said. Don't put yourself in trouble. Let me tell you this. Progress is important, but peace is by far better than progress. It is better to be perceived as going through delay, but you can sleep soundly, than to be given an impression that you are doing well and then you live on many drugs and you still will not be able to sleep. Hallelujah. If you have a friend who is always intimidating you, leave the person. Did you hear what I said? Deliberately making you feel bad. I'm um, just to let you know this watch I bargained it. They said it was um, 300,000. I beat it down to 280. Why are you telling? Why is he telling you? When he knows that you have been asking for rent, love him, but please let him go away. You don't have to fight. Look for visionary people. Oh, you mean you have 10 million naira? And you are this modest. Yes, I'm building because I'm the firstborn of eight children. And I want a situation where if I rise, everybody to me can eat. So I will run away from a fake life. And God says, that's right. You are being word compliant. Destiny helper. Here is a person you should lift. This is how it works. In the name of Jesus, the pressure to live a fake life. May it depart from you this night. May it depart from you this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
don't borrow money you don't have and be in trouble you cannot sleep because everybody loan apps are looking for you everyone is looking for you no you know almost every day I get text messages from I don't know how they do those things oh I'm, I'm almost every day they are saying so 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 and so is uh, I think maybe he has not paid the money make sure you, I mean, you know one you know every day how they got my number I don't know at the point I said is it that these guys are scammers what every day is it that they submitted my name as a guarantor what what, what is it say amen If you are owing, make sure you lift your hands when I'm praying. So that you, you come out. Yes, I'm no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not. This is a miracle service. So that you come out and rest. And rest. Come unto me, Jesus said. All ye that are weary and heavy laden. What did he say he will give you? I will give you rest. Yes, sir. Let's finish. Number five. Why are many believers unable to make progress? Lack of favor with men. I wouldn't say much there. This is a house of favor. Any serious person who has been in this house has understood the dynamics of favor. Men willing to help you. Men willing to stand by you. Men willing to support you. Men willing to carry you until you win. Are we together now? You are as prosperous as the men who believe you. You are as prosperous as the men willing to invest their credibility, invest their resources. When you have the twin combo of wisdom and favor, you become unbeatable. In addition to wisdom, press for favor. Let me run number six. Why is it that many people do not make progress in life? Listen to this. Lack of health and physical fitness. The absence of health and physical fitness. Psalm 104, 14 and 15. The absence of health and physical fitness, physical vitality. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man. That he may bring forth good food out of the earth. Verse 15. And wine that makes glad the heart of man. And oil to make his face shine. And bread which strengthened the man's heart. This is God's commitment to your health and vitality. That he causes the cattle whose meat you will eat. He is the one that causes the grass to come out. Are we together? He makes sure that everything is in place for your health. This is why many came here tonight. That every attack on your health is not about your body. It's about your destiny. And when it's time to pray for the sick, make sure your heart is open to receive. Don't pamper any situation. Reject it. If it has to do with its capacity to impede your progress, it is demonic. Mysterious headache. It just started. You thought you were tired. But then month one, month two, month three... It just kept coming. If you keep quiet, I have taught you here, Satan proceeds further. Ah, what's this mysterious pain around my back? Ah, next week again. Ah, pain around my back. In two weeks, you are not able to sleep on one side. By the next week, you are feeling numbness. Go to the hospital and do your due diligence. But just know that Satan is attacking you. And if you don't fight back the fight of faith, you will see the devil cripple you. How you know many sicknesses are demonic is because they are defying the predictions that doctors have given as to when they should start. Doctors would say when you are approach 50, 60, maybe 70, there are certain things that based on medicine may not be unusual. Weakness of the joints, etc., memory loss. But if you see a 21-year-old person having weakness of the joints, having all these things, immediately it tells you it is satanic. That's why we are here. I believe in the God that heals. And I pray for someone who came today weak. In the name of Jesus, in a few minutes from now, you will wave those sicknesses goodbye forever. You will wave those sicknesses goodbye forever. Listen, you need physical health 
and vitality. You need physical health and vitality. If you are to accomplish destiny, if you are to serve the purposes of the kingdom, if you are to live a victorious life, you need physical health and vitality. And whilst you are seated here, many of us right now have right before our faces life-threatening medical reports. I'm not against medicine. We have a brilliant team of doctors that make up our medical team. And shortly they are going to be walking when I start praying for the sick. Very fine miracles and things that God is doing. But let me tell you this. You have to believe God for your health and vitality. Satan, you will not pack up my kidneys. No. No. Organ failure, no. Not in my lifetime. Do you believe that? By the mercies of God and by reason of what I do, I've been around many, many sick people. And sometimes you see conditions that are heartbreaking. Very heartbreaking. I have seen children under certain conditions, you know this is satanic. The kind of injection that they give these babies, this is their first experience with the earth. Injections upon injections. And you are saying, what, what is this? It couldn't have been God. Hallelujah. You wake up one morning, all of a sudden your hands cannot move again. And in many regards, it's not carelessness. Some of us, every time we celebrate birthdays, our hearts start palpitating. When you clock 40, you are afraid. 42, you are afraid. 44, you are afraid. No. With all due respect, maybe there are ladies now. You are already being afraid because, of course, medicine has said what you said. After you pass a certain age, listen, let me tell you this. I don't insult medicine, but your realities are defined by your fate. Did you hear what I said? Your realities are defined by your fate. My Bible says, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Lack of health and physical fitness has caused a lot of trouble. When you travel particularly to the West, there seems to be a growing campaign of darkness over a generation causing mental health. Children from 13, maybe fair enough, 13 down to zero. And, and I know there are many people watching right now. Perhaps some persons came here to receive a miracle child attended to sincerely and then he begins to grow losing consciousness losing speech let me tell you the truth it is an attack from hell the devil wants to paralyze a, an entire generation so that a time will come where parents cannot have young people they can look up to as their children but in the name of jesus we have come tonight to say satan you are a liar Amen. hallelujah Number seven, and this is where we'll end tonight. The seventh reason why people do not make progress in life, I summarize it as spiritual issues. Spiritual issues. That includes demonic attacks. That includes all kinds of satanic covenants and yokes. Spiritual issues. I have dealt with intellectual issues. I have done, dealt with physical issues. But let me tell you the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, Koinonia, you have seen this and you are about to see this shortly again. That Satan does attack men, including the saints. He attacks with trouble. He attacks with conditions. He attacks with sickness. He attacks with diseases. He attacks with all kinds of inconveniences. Men can be under curses. Men can be under yokes. Men can be victims of evil speakings. Men can be victims of covenants. Is liberty a reality in Christ? Yes, it is. But not under every condition. Conditions such as this. Listen to my message, Complete Deliverance. I teach there on the steps for accessing complete deliverance. I've been a victim of demonic attacks. I know that Satan attacks men. And let me tell you, the realm of the spirit does not care whether you are a preacher, does not care whether you are an apostle, you are a prophet, 
once that light and that grace has not been there to bail you you will be a victim but hallelujah you came for this miracle service because in the new the next few minutes we are going to lift a banner as we pray and cry to God to visit you I have listed seven reasons for some of us here as you came here your report is zero over seven you've not excelled in any one of these areas I do not condemn you you can start afresh I will recap it again and then we'll pray and then I'm going to minister deliverance to the oppressed hallelujah I'm going to be speaking open doors to those who are bound I'm going to be praying for the sick the next few minutes will demand very keen spiritual sensitivity you're going to insist on God tonight until you walk away victorious Hallelujah. Spiritual issues. I've encountered demons. I've encountered angels. I've had the honor of seeing Jesus. I've not seen Satan, but I've seen demons. I don't even want to see him. He's a wicked spirit. Hallelujah. He has caused mayhem and trouble to many. I have seen oppression firsthand. I have seen the elderly cry. I have seen children cry. I've seen educated people cry. I have seen strong men cry because of attacks. I've seen people move from grace to grass, sometimes overnight. Overnight. Like Job. Overnight. Everything just went like that. But tonight, God is giving you an opportunity because the Spirit is about to be poured upon us from on high so that the wilderness be counted for a fruitful field as that 32 15 and a fruitful field be counted for a forest hallelujah you believe this and i'm saying this to you so that you don't allow any doubt in your heart what is your assignment tonight as we prepare to pray find out what is missing or wanting based on this list i will run it again and that will be your prayer. That will be your cry for tonight. Number one, for someone it is lack of goals and defined expectations. For another person, it is that you have wrong limiting beliefs. This is what you came to correct. For another person, it's lack of value and resourcefulness, quite honestly. For another person, it's lack of wisdom. You are panting for divine direction, panting for divine strategies for someone it is lack of favor with men your life has been marred by misfortune and bad luck you've not had it funny you've not had it favorable with men for someone it is lack of health many I believe lack of health and physical fitness you have the intellectual power but the health that backs your mind to help you achieve much is not there and finally for many I believe who are here tonight and the many who are following online you have come trusting God to bring an end to spiritual issues satanic molestations that have tied you tied your family tied your destiny God has given you hints in types and shadows in dreams and prophecies you've seen it through the word but whilst you are growing you may not have the capacity to help yourself for now and so he's brought you that by mercy we can offer that assistance my job is to work in partnership with the Holy Spirit to offer you maximum assistance as far as your liberty and your victory is concerned yours is to believe in Jesus believe in his vessel and believe in what God is able to do can we pray a few prayers please rise up on your feet Yahweh Rafa Hello, Shaddai, Jire, Adonai, manifest yourself.
from this meeting, from tonight, from this encounter. Go ahead and pray. Mention the areas that must change. Come on. Someone is praying. Father, grace to have a vision for my life, to have goals for my days. Oh yes, you are praying. You are praying. I obtain grace to correct limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs. I obtain grace to invest in value. Invest in value. To be resourceful. Spiritually resourceful. Intellectually resourceful. Someone cry for wisdom. Cry for divine direction. Cry for wisdom. Cry for divine direction. Cry for divine strategies. For another, pray for favor. Favor. For a sick person who came here downcast, ill in your body. I like you to pray that I must receive my miracles tonight. The program of God depends on my participation. My destiny depends on my vitality. No room for sickness. No room for diseases. Finally, I'd like you to pray. Every demonic blockade, every hindrance to my moving forward, to my going forward, to my making progress, to my advancement, to my prosperity, to my increase, I come against you. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. Want to pray for the sick now and to pray deliverance. Want to go. For I will restore health unto you. And I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Jeremiah 33 and verse 6, please. Jeremiah 33 and verse 6. One to go, please. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them abundance of peace and truth why do we minister deliverance the reason is because Satan curses yokes ill speakings foundational realities do exist the house of God an apostolic and prophetic platform like this is like a hospital you treat all kinds of patients there are patients who don't need surgery all they need is to just prescribe the tabs and then they can go. There are other patients who are even medical practitioners themselves. You just give them the recommendation, they go home, they can give themselves the injection. There are patients in ICU. They were brought wheel because they were about dying. They need delicate attention. There are others who are infants. They cannot speak by themselves. You need to help them. There are those who are too old and frustrated. You will need someone to guide and help them. There have been patients in the hospital for three years. They have been treated, but it will take a time, some time. Multiple surgeries. You would have to do the first set, allow them to heal after one month, then do another. The goal is to get them whole. This is how it is with the many who have come here tonight. Various spiritual issues. For others, you don't have any spiritual problem. What you just need is wisdom and impartation. For others, you have a serious spiritual problem. We need to dig into these foundations and deal with it seriously. For others, what you need is an impartation of grace. It doesn't matter what you came from. 
this by the grace of God according to scripture is called a general assembly like you have a general hospital that has all kinds of departments and colleges there and so God is going to be attending to various people and I want you to receive from your for yourself and then believe God for another person are you ready now and then for those who are falling online please don't get too familiar with what God is doing I like you to open up yourself and to receive Mention the one area you want God to touch now. If it's your body, please mention it. If it's that there is a demonic thing, you know that there is some satanic thing around your life and family that needs to end. Don't be silent. Go ahead. Let's have this one minute to pray and cry out our heart. And then we experience the ministry of the Spirit. Hallelujah. I'm receiving a very strange instruction by the Spirit. Please, everybody sit down. Usually we will stand. But I'm going to minister this deliverance with people seated. Hmm. Why? I don't know. Obedience is how it happens. I'm going to ask you now as I pray to bring all those under the anointing out. We're going to be seated. But you see... There are people here who are under all kinds of influences of spirits, demonic spirits. In this auditorium, across the balcony, all the overflows to the basement, outside, Zaria, those connected across all our expressions. I'm about to pray for you right now. The purpose of the prayer is to activate the power of God towards your direction. And I want you to believe that as God's power comes towards your direction, that everything that is not of God, it gives way now. Father, in the name of Jesus, your people have come tonight to encounter your power. I decree and I declare. Please, ushers, I will ask you to bring them out very quickly so that we'll rush. I want to take some time to pray for the sick. In the name that is above all names, anyone here and any family here represented under the influence of spirits, under the influence of curses under the influence of yokes as you shout the name Jesus right where you are seated in the name of Jesus let that light and fire that comes from the throne let it begin to dispel every demonic work are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout Jesus bring them out in the name of Jesus I curse those spirits by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every molestation, every curse that followed you here, every covenant that followed you here to destroy you, to frustrate you, I say it again, it comes under arrest. One more time, shout Jesus. Spirits of delay, delaying destinies, delaying women, delaying men. I arrest you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Release their Release their destinies now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be delivered. Be delivered. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Let them go. Let them go. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Every family here that does not rise, it looks like when you are about to rise, there are forces that sit on your destiny. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let it come upon you now. Let it come upon Let it come upon you now. Let charms and altars be destroyed now. Let evil speakings, incantations of witchcraft against your life, against your marriage, against your family, let it be destroyed now. Bring them out. The Lord is telling me to speak to someone that the attack on your life 
is because you are the deliverer of your family. The attack on your life is not because of something you did wrong. It's because the devil has seen that the hand of God is coming upon you. That you are the one God is raising. I curse that spirit. Release them now. I curse that spirit. Release them now. I curse that spirit. Release them now. In the name of Jesus. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. for those outside. I'm praying for everyone, but I want to pray for those outside. Those outside, I want to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance outside. Don't worry, every overflow, everywhere you can participate, but outside. Those outside, you are going to shout the name Jesus at the count of three. And I'm seeing fire falling outside. There are ordinances of darkness. Some of them 100 years old, 50 years old. It was not your great-grandparents came into it. They met it there. Those outside, you are going to shout the name Jesus. And the Lord is going to be destroying the works of Satan. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Broken, 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 broken. By the power of the Holy Spirit, every altar tying down anyone outside from the front to the back the left to the right in the name of Jesus I curse it now I curse it now bring them out in the name of Jesus be released now be released now you're my glory the lifter up of my head hallelujah the Lord is showing me a vision. Please listen. And I see this many times. I'm seeing a human being. But I'm seeing like the head is tied. Like with a veil. And the Bible says. Listen. There are many things that are in the head. The hair which is your glory. Is in the head. The eye which gives you direction. Is in the head. Your sense of perception. Is in the head. Your mouth that you speak and eat for nourishment is in the head. So when the head is covered, it's not just the head. It's a revelation of the many aspects that are wrong in your life. This is not for everybody, but I want to pray for that person. That every veil that has tied down your life and covered your glory. I tear that veil now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. The Lord is asking me to speak to a gentleman here. I may not be able to speak to many people. Our time is gone. But no one has risen in your family. But the Lord is saying I should tell you. That you are going to be called into ministry. And it is that platform that God will use to deliver your family. It will not just happen by business. Ministry. Actual fivefold ministry. There is a grace. That's why God brought you here. To contact the anointing. That will release you into a fearful dimension of the ministry. I don't know where you are. But I pray for you. For the sake of your family. Let that grace fall on you now. Let the fire fall. 
Let the river flow. Let it burn inside. Let it flow outside. Let the fire fall. Let the river flow. Let it burn inside. I'm seeing the name Yanagoa. 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 I don't know who is from there. That should be what state now? Huh? By Elsa. Yanagoa. Is there someone like that? You are from that place. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing there is a strong impartation that God is bringing. You are from Yanagoa. Who is that person? I want to pray. You are stepping into a season. Let them come. You are from there, my dear? Come. Careful. Let the fire fall. Ah, someone's life is about to change. You see, let me tell you something with prophecy. Honestly, when God locates you back, just know that your problem has come to an end. Yenagoa. Please make sure, okay, there are protocol there. That's, that's. Please bring them, okay, well, I would just, can you bring them to the front here? There's still space so that they don't, um, Yanagoa, I will pray for you. Why God calls the names of states and regions, it's a miracle, it's supernatural. But I'm about to pray because I'm seeing an altar from Yanagoa that has tied down many people. They can't rise. It doesn't matter where they travel to. They still remain on the ground. But in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, hence God has located you this night. I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every covenant and every altar tying your destiny. Those of you in front here, be released now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, every enchantment, every divination, every witchcraft that has tied you down from Yenagoa, I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Stopping marriages, I release you now. Stopping fruitfulness, I release you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. If there is anything you have seen as a pattern, you saw it in the life of your parents, now it's manifesting in your life, and you are a child of God. Poverty, failure, hardship, they go up and go down. As I'm praying for them, I'm praying for you. Any pattern around your life, you are seeing a repetition of somebody's life. It's as if you are living someone else's life. I break it now. 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 I'm seeing someone's hand. I don't know if it's in front here or you know how visions are. But I'm seeing someone's hand held like this. And all I'm seeing is a padlock in between. One locks to another. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. I don't know whose hand has been tied. It may be a career person. It may be a business person. You came for Koinonia tonight. Every spell that has tied your hand so that you will not rise in career. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. Please return to your seats rejoicing. The Lord is showing me a man of God. You don't have to come out. You are in the overflow down, not outside, down. You came and sat quietly. Your prayer has been for ministry to work. You love Jesus sincerely. But this land has been harsh for you. The gates of ministry have not opened. I pray for you right where you are. 
in the name that is above all names. I use that man as a point of contact to every man of God here. You love the Lord with all your heart, but it's like the gates of ministry have refused to open. In the name of Jesus, by reason of this impartation tonight, I declare the gates of favor open now. Open now. Open now. Please lay your hands. Now hear me. If you came with someone who is sick and cannot help themselves, then please know that you are here to help them. Are we together? Whether the person is deaf or blind or crippled, once they are not able to help themselves, when I say lay your hands, if there's someone, maybe a child or an old person or someone on a stretcher or wheelchair, you can agree for the person. I want to pray for the sick now. I hate sickness with a passion. I've seen it destroy people. Please place your hand, believing. Even if it's headache, don't spare. Lay your hands there. Don't tolerate anything. Cancer, fibroid, HIV, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, growths, appendicitis, bone conditions, heart, you know, problems, liver. You heard the testimony of the lady. They kept treating something else, whereas her liver had been punctured. Satan for you. Some of you, quite honestly, you don't even know the name of what is wrong with you. You just know that you've swallowed everything that can be swallowed. Joint pain. All kinds of things. Do you know, I once ministered to a lady. It was at that point I really respected the realm of the spirit. True story. Her biological husband had passed on in glory. And a spirit came to her to molest her in the night. And this woman got pregnant physically. Ah, I've seen things in this ministry. Pregnant physically. And it's not maybe as much as she told me. Satan for you. Lay your hands. I want to pray. A lump. Shoulder pain. If you are standing for someone, that's alright. Some of you... Especially if what is wrong with you is also wrong with everybody in your family. What you need is not healing. What you need is to be delivered. It's a pattern. It's beyond the condition. Hepatitis spread through. Headache spread through. Maybe some um, cardiovascular problem, respiratory problem, sinuses, all kinds of things. I want to pray for you. I believe in the power of God. Yes, my Rama, she had to water, Banda one in safe. Yes, my Rama, Gawa. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare right now over your people. If you have any blood disease, please come out. Blood disease. Blood disease. I'm, I'm not any... If it is related to your blood, blood, come out. Medically verified. I just sense in my heart as the Lord is directing me. I'm still praying for the sick. Alina sovre simelento salacros cavereto sibahashia. I'm not careless at laying hands. Uh -uh. I understand the implication of laying hands. But the Lord is asking me to lay hands on you. I'm going to do this very fast. You will marvel and wonder at what happens to you now. I'm still praying for everybody. Anyone here under the sound of my voice who is suffering from cancer, liver cancer, prostate, leukemia, blood cancer, you don't have to come out. 
please make sure you don't come out at random just those who have verified blood diseases oh the spirits must leave you tonight must leave you tonight the life of the flesh is in the blood in the name of Jesus anyone here who came with cancer don't worry those who are in front you just be listening I will lay hands on you but let me pray anyone who came with cancer any kind of cancer in the name of Jesus whatever empowers those cells to multiply I command that they die now cancerous cells die now cancerous cells die now let me pray for everyone here you came here and you are not able to walk whether by wheelchair whether by a crutch in the name of Jesus wherever you are whether you are inside whether you are outside whether your photo is here or you are connecting from any hospital I decree and declare now let the power of God search through your body receive life now receive life now receive life now in the name of Jesus now anyone who has growth in any area of your body growth whether a lump some growth around your abdominal region I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Spirit that you be healed now shout a loud amen be healed now the Lord wants to deliver someone we don't have the time you don't have to come out but listen when you were small now I'm not saying your parents are bad people I'm sure they would have repented they took you somewhere and they made some incisions physical incisions on your body and put certain things there it was supposed to be for protection this is what God is showing me this thing has become a it has tied your destiny down that no matter where you go the Lord is saying I should set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit those marks are still there physically now that you are an adult I decree and declare whatever was programmed into your destiny by witchcraft through those incisions I set you free now Help them please. Help that lady at the back. I set you free now. Eye problem. Anyone having a problem with your eye. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I decree and declare be healed now. Deaf ears be open now. There's someone here. I don't know if you are here or you are following, but I'm seeing uh, an individual. They wore you a catheter. They wore you a catheter from the hospital because you have you have a problem. I think most like with your your kidneys or something. You are not able to pass out urine normally. They wore you a catheter. Whether you are here. Or you're in any of the overflows or following online in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit may my God heal you now Amen. joint pains be healed now Amen. bone conditions be healed now Amen. you're not able to stand for long be healed now Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. now I'm going to give everyone five minutes you're going to pray in the spirit while you receive everything healing for whatever it is that is ailing you. I have to do this because the Lord instructed that I do. I'm going to be laying hands on you. Those who have, please, no one else comes. It doesn't matter what the condition is. Um, I'm going to do that very fast. I usually would not do this because we're, a miracle services require like six, seven, eight hours if you are to do justice to people's problems. So God will grant us grace. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Those of you who are here, please listen to me. For God to have insisted that I lay my hands on you, it means he really wants some things to come to an end. No matter what it is, 
as I lay my hands on you, you return to your seat as much as you can. We will do that very fast. While everybody is praying, you are releasing your faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. First, I pray for you. Every spirit that is back of anyone's condition here, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, those spirits let you go now. Let you go now. In the name of Jesus. Worship, give us something while I pray for these people very quickly.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have any organ failure, just place your hand there. Any organ failure, heart problem, any of your organs, in the name that is above all names, kidneys, liver, heart, brain, nervous system, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare life to that organ now. 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 There's a gentleman called Suleiman. Suleiman. I'm hearing a name Suleiman. The Lord is bringing a mighty miracle to your family. This is not, this is not healing. Your name is Suleiman. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is bringing a miracle to a Suleiman. Suleiman. The Lord is bringing a supernatural miracle to that gentleman. You are Suleiman. Where are you from? Augustessa. I want to pray for you. Your real name is Suleiman. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you as God has revealed. May he turn your family around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I'm praying for you still. Someone is having a severe back pain. Pain at the back. In the name that is above all names. Be healed now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, I'm praying for you. Please hear me. Some of you, you may have something that is eating you slowly and you do not even know. I'm just having this by the ministration of the Spirit. You just know you are losing weight or something is happening. You are not normal, but you've not been able to detect exactly what is wrong. No matter what the name is, we declare that that condition dies this night. And for anyone here who is standing in for a loved one, you're placing your hand, you're lifting your hand, but it's really not for yourself or it's for yourself and a loved one somewhere. Wherever that loved one is, whether they are connecting from a hospital or they are here right now in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare be healed now. Return with your testimonies. Receive your healing now. Healing from blood conditions. Healing from neurological conditions. Respiratory conditions. Reproductory conditions. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have any loved one who is mad? Maybe some gentleman roaming around the street. Or anyone suffering anything that has to do with their coordination. Whether autism, some mental health case in the name of Jesus I bring healing for that person now and for someone your problem may not be mental health but you are thoroughly depressed did you know it was not it was not um, not too long ago I got to understand that depression was even a medical condition I used to think it's just a state of sadness where you are terribly sad but I didn't know that it can actually be diagnosed in a hospital that they can say you are depressed. I pray for you. Whoever is having suicidal thoughts, hearing voices telling you to kill yourself, by the power of the Holy Spirit, be set free now. Did you bring your prayer requests? Please everyone, bring your prayer requests out. Pass it to the last person at the left or right aisle. I want you, I'm going to be giving you some prayer points to pray while you are doing this. And we have to work with the time that we have left. There is a heavy impartation that is about to come upon your life now. You are going to be praying. Father, establish and preserve my testimony. Establish and preserve my testimony. Everything good, everything God, everything victory. Are you praying? Don't be distracted. Please establish and preserve my testimony. Someone is praying. Outside, pray. Zaria, pray everywhere. Overflows, make sure you are praying. Establish and preserve my testimony. You are Alpha, please be Omega. Establish and preserve my testimony. Establish it. That everything that makes for joy, everything that makes for gladness, 
Everything that makes for rejoicing. Everything that makes for celebration. Who is praying? Everything that makes for victory. Lord, in this season, I desire to see it. Establish your name upon my life. Establish your victory upon my life. Whilst you are praying, submit your prayer request. For some is in the area of marriage. Establish and preserve your testimony. Others in the area of fruitfulness. Establish and preserve your testimony. My testimony. Others in the area of a job. I'm going to be speaking over your life. But here is where you pray now. Don't be careless. Make sure you pray. Establish. Preserve the testimony in my business. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Someone pray. Visit my family. Establish and preserve my testimony. You have given me honor. Establish and preserve it. You have given me victory. Establish and preserve it. You've given me influence. Establish and preserve it. You've given me a new, a good name. Establish and preserve it. Someone is praying. God answers prayer. You have given me a good husband. Establish and preserve him. You have given me a good wife. Establish and preserve her. You have given me children. Establish and preserve them. Go ahead. That after you have suffered for a while, that the Lord will bless, He will establish, He will preserve, He will settle you. You have brought me into the wealthy place. Establish and preserve my finances. You've appointed honor to my family. Establish and preserve it. In Jesus name I pray. We are still praying. We are going to pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh that thou wouldest bless me. And enlarge my coast. Open your mouth and pray. Lord enlarge my coast. Enlarge my coast. Enlarge my influence. Give me greater testimonies. It is not carnal to ask God for more. Establish my business. Broaden my, the, my hands. As far as my reach towards finances is concerned. You work in an organization. It is okay to pray that God promotes you. When he promotes you, he promotes his name through you. He promotes his name. He promotes his agenda through you. Preserve your name. Establish me. Settle me. Whilst you're submitting your request, make sure you pray. This is part of the service. Pray. Pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Someone is going to cry. Lord, give me peace. Give me peace. Give my family peace. No more tears. No more shame. No more bad news meeting bad news. No more heartbreak meeting heartbreak. Go ahead and pray. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Peace in my business. Peace in my career. Peace in my pursuit. Peace in ministry. God made an end to war and fighting during the days of Solomon. He gave him rest in the days of Joshua. God gave them rest eventually round about. Someone pray, give me peace. 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 Peace in marriage. Peace over my health. Peace over the issues that trouble me. Peace over my finances. Now the God of peace himself. 
give you peace always and by all means 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 in Jesus name we pray the last prayer point before we pray over the request ushers if you're yet to come please make it fast let's let's make it hasty um, if, if it doesn't have to be in the basket even if it's by hand just just make it available and let's pray we do this not as a ritual but it's just a way to guide your faith so that you receive hallelujah to guide your faith so that you receive to guide your faith so that you receive to guide your faith so that you receive I'm sure we still have people outside we'll give you a minute or two to just rush with your requests and bring it very quickly hallelujah final prayer father turn around every negative situation in my life and my family turn it around I came here with shame turn it around I came here with legal cases turn it around I came here with reproach someone pray open your mouth and pray when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream now our mouths were filled with laughter go ahead father turn every negative report negative financial report turn it around by your spirit turn again the captivity I am your Zion Turn again every captivity. Ministry captivity. Financial captivity. Marital captivity. Career captivity. Captivity in the area of establishment. Pray with faith. Pray with fire. Pray with expectation. academic captivity turn it around oh God family captivity turn it around oh God give me a testimony let me rejoice let me rejoice come on pray the prayer of Jonah Jonah prayed when he was in the belly of the fish pray the prayer of Jonah that I will rejoice again in your salvation Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to speak over your life. But I want to pray over this request. We'll do it quickly and in one minute by faith. Go ahead. You need to bring it, just bring it quickly. Why do we pray over these requests? Number one, because it is the most accurate representation of your desires. The Bible says, And whatsoever things ye desire, when ye pray, that you believe that thou receivest them, and thou shalt have them. This right here is a representation of your pain. This has made some of you cry. This has made some of you sick. This has made some of you weary. This has made some of you discouraged. Some of you, on account of the things you have written here, you came here discouraged. Saying, Lord, I'm opening, let me just see if you can do something about my life. Yes, not just something, everything. God is able to step in and give you a testimony. I'm going to bow my knees in one minute whilst you're praying, connecting with me. And I will speak over this request as a point of contact. I'm going to ask the Lord to visit you and then I'll rise and speak over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Father, visit me. Let every request here written be turned to a testimony. Every request here written, the Bible says they looked unto him and their faces were lightened. They looked unto him and their faces were lightened. They looked unto him. Is someone praying? Is a believer praying? God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. When God speaks, it is within his power to bring his word to pass. This is a time for your personal petitions. Go ahead, lift your voice and cry. Father, hands have been laid on my request. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise the men who become answers to this request. Break the chains that make for answers to this request. Give me the ideas that make for answers to this request. Raise the helpers that will be used by you to answer this request. Shaparato kaparadakate. Lagranta kaparatosh. Rapatosh shotobranta kaparanakatesh. Lord, visit your people. Give them encounters. Give them testimonies. Make a name for yourself. That they come out of financial captivities. Let marital spells be broken. Let academic lives rise, blossom, thrive again. Let ministries blossom. Let homes receive your salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ, open up career doors by your spirit. One more minute, you are praying. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I decree and declare as your servant upon this request. We do this not as a ritual. We do this full of faith. Believing that you are the God that answers all prayer. I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, every request that has been penned down here, let it return to your people as testimonies. Let it return to your people as testimonies. Testimonies of helpers. Testimonies of new jobs. Testimonies of promotions. Miracle marriages. Miracle children. Liftings in the name of Jesus. Miracles of establishment. Miracles of deliverances. Miracles of healing. Miracles of advancement. Miracles of restoration. Miracles of overturning situations. I prophesy to you, you will laugh. Laughter to you. Laughter to you. And all who hear this will laugh with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands to receive by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I decree and declare the Lord brought you here for good. He brought you here for laughter. He brought you here for joy. He brought you here for rising, for victory, for testimonies. Therefore, I decree and declare every human agent anointed by God to step into your life, step into your business this week and cause you to experience victory. I declare that my God commands them to come on time. My God commands them to come on time. Some of them will meet them tomorrow. They will be waiting for you. They will bless you. You will know they were sent by God to help you. In the name of Jesus. If there is anyone here who has sincerely taken a wrong direction towards your life, either by influences of friends and associations, demonic manipulations, we command a you turn back to the path of destiny. We command a you turn back to the path of destiny. We command a you turn back to the path of destiny. In the name of Jesus. And to deliver them who are appointed unto death. I pray for you. If your name has been written in the list of those who must die. Between now and next month. I pray for you. By the blood of the eternal covenant. We clean your name from that list. We erase your name from that list. I speak to you. You shall not die. Believe it and receive it. That you shall not die. Your children will not die. Your spouse will not die. Your parents will not die. They will live to a good old age. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone here trusting God for career breakthrough. The battles have been around your career. No job or no good job or no increase, no advancement. I pray for you as we step into October. In the name of Jesus, let it be your month of miracles. Your month of miracles. Miracle jobs. Those you don't know will call you. They will connect you to help us. In the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone here who is in any kind of trouble. Legal trouble. You are in debt. You are owing. 
you are in any kind of financial trouble by the voice of prophecy I pray for you in the name of Jesus as we step into this month October between now and the next and the end of October may my God do a quick miracle receive it the grace is coming on you a quick miracle in the name of Jesus for someone even though your helpers are not in Nigeria you don't need to go out to meet them God will connect you supernaturally God will connect you supernaturally I'm hearing this for someone God will connect you supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ negative dreams negative experiences as you sleep you are even afraid of going to bed I decree and declare every antichrist anti-kingdom anti-advancement encounter I survey it from your life from tonight I survey it from your life from tonight while I was teaching I took time to teach extensively on value I'm praying for you now the anointing that makes your head shine so that your helpers and your lifters will see you. I decree and declare, may that grace rest on your head now. You may not see it, but your helpers will see it. It will cause your face to shine. In the name of Jesus. For some of us, we entered this year fighting. We are still fighting till now. Every month looks like a month of battles. Let me prophesy over you. If you have the faith to receive it, as you are entering October, here is my prophecy for you. Rest round about. Rest round about. Rest round about. Let battles come to an end. Let victory be established. Hear it and receive it again. Rest round about. Rest round about. In the name of Jesus. Three more prayer points. Let me declare restoration. You lost relationships. You lost opportunities. Either because of lack of discernment or because of some demonic thing. You lost money. You lost whatever it is. I pray for you in this season. How God will do it, you don't need to know. But I prophesy to you, because you have been taken for a prey, I come as a priest and I say, Restore. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Bible says a good name is to be desired than riches. Some of you have many other things except a good name. The devil has damaged your name and damaged your reputation. Hear me. Listen to my message, Redefining Inheritance. Among the many things that a good man leaves for his children is an inheritance. And the first of the inheritance is your convictions. The second inheritance you leave for your children are your relationships. The third inheritance you leave for your children is a good name. If you are great and your name is not great, only you will be successful. He told Abraham, I will bless you and I will make your name great. When your name is great, it becomes a key. Anyone who holds the key can open doors. It is a terrible thing to be great without your name being great. And it is not good enough for your name to be great while you are not great. When God wants to really make you great, he makes both you and your name great. If Joshua Selman is great and Koinonia is not great, I failed. If Koinonia is great and Joshua Selman is not great, I failed. When God wants to help men, he makes both you, your name, and you great. So that others can write through your name as a leverage and attain greatness. I'm praying for someone here every battle over your greatness and every battle over your name some of you you are great alone but people have to literally run away from a name you carry because that name is like a padlock it will close doors for them but i pray for you tonight by mercy both you and your name in this coming month you will taste of greatness 
you will taste of greatness. You will taste of greatness. I declare enjoy greatness by the Spirit. It says that will increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. May my God increase your greatness. And may you have a great name. In the name of Jesus Christ. My final prayer tonight is for your spiritual life. Some of you from January till now, you are saying, Apostle, I came here particularly because I am dying spiritually. I have money. I have a good job. But it's at the expense of my spiritual life. I want to pray for you. Let me tell you something sincerely. Miracle services are designed to help us encounter the power of God across various areas of our lives. But in all you're getting, if your prayer life is dead, your word study life is dead, your passion for God dead, your character dead, you did not receive much. As I pray this prayer for your spiritual health, I want you to receive it with all your heart. Whatever has destroyed your prayer life, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you now. May it jack back to flames. Whatever has threatened your appetite for the word, to study, to hear, to confess and to obey, I decree and declare, let that zeal and passion be restored for the word. Whatever has tampered with your appetite for the house of God, I decree and declare, let it be restored now. Every bad association around your life, deviating you from the ways of God, I break those relationships from your life. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you are spiritually minded. I declare that you are spiritually vibrant. You are loving Jesus with all your heart and you are experiencing victory as you seek him. Shout amen three times. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Celebrate his faithfulness tonight. Hallelujah.